Assalamu alaikum everyone. Today we will solve a problem regarding geometry. So let's uh, first of all read out the question. A regular octagon is inscribed uh, in a circle. Sorry, in a square. So, so this is a square. So you can see in the diagram, and uh, there is a octagon. That means uh, it it has a uh, eight sides and this is a regular octagon that means all the sides are equal in length so if a point is randomly selected from the square the probability that the point is inside the octagon can be written in the form b root b by a so find the value of a plus b so in the question so let's first understand how we can uh, measure probability here okay so if you randomly choose a point from the square so it can be here here or in anywhere it can be uh, inside the octagon or outside the octagon so outside the octagon that means in the triangles right so <coughs> you can see if you um, uh, want to find out the probability that means you need to uh, make uh, the um, you need to find out the area of the octagon at the same time area of the square so you know the uh, formula of probability that means uh, let's write the formula at first probability so the formula of probability that which is equals to the uh, favorable things right so on the upper side we have favorable things and uh, on the possible things or you can uh, say let's uh, write possibilities all the possibilities so what is the possibilities that means uh, total square so area of the total square is our possibility and favorable means we need to now uh, the only the uh, part which is inside the octagon that means area of the octagon so probe so our answer should be uh, in the form of right uh, uh, a plus b if you want to find so the probability should be in you know, like this that means uh, area of octagon divided by uh, area of square area of square okay i think you are clear after this now uh, let's focus on the diagram so in the diagram you can see that uh, this is a square and uh, let's say uh, from that square let's say the octagon has a side length of a that means uh, all those are a so this is a this is also a this is a a, a. so there are a total of eight sides okay so if all the sides are a and only this part so length of this part let's consider this is at, as x now can you please tell me uh, what is the value of x in terms of if you want to express in terms of a how do you get the value of x so you can see this is a right angle triangle and since this is x and this should also be x okay so this is an isosceles triangle because uh, uh, it, it this is the this is a regular octagon and the value of x uh, if this is x this should also be x so according to pythagoras theorem you know that uh, x square plus x square this would be uh, equals to a square which is where a square is a hypotenuse so you can write 2x square as equals to a square or from here if you want to find out the value of x you will get uh, a by root 2 so the value of x is a by root 2 now can you please tell me uh, what is the total length of the square uh, or the one side of the square what is the total length of one side of the square that means that will the length of this one this part so this is x plus a and if this is x so this should also be x so x plus a plus x so from here you can write uh, a by root 2 plus a plus uh, again a by root 2 so if you do this uh, what do you get I think after doing some basic calculation uh, you will get uh, 2a by root 2 so I am just adding this one then I will add a with it so if you uh, write 2a by root 2 in another way you can uh, multiply root 2 on both sides that means 2 root 2a and root 2 times root 2 so we are uh, multiplying root 2 on the numerator and denominator okay so root 2 times root 2 is 2 and 2 and 2 will be cancelled so we will be left with a if you consider a is common then you will get root 2 plus 
1. So this is uh, the length of one side of the square. Now can you please tell me what is the area of the square? So they are just a you need to square this. So area of the square is a square and root 2 plus 1 square. Okay. So this is the area of the square. Now we need to find out the area of the octagon. <coughs> How can you do this? You can either use a simple formula. So there is a formula to find out the area of your octagon when it is regular or you can uh, derive the formula from this one okay so how you can derive it uh, let's uh, first uh, try to derive the equation so this is x and this is a okay and uh, if you want to find out the area of the octagon you need to uh, at first uh, find out the total area of the square so this is square and you have to uh, subtract the area of the triangles so this is a triangle this is a triangle this is also a triangle and this is also a triangle so what is the area of the uh, square here that is a square root 2 plus 1 square and you need to subtract the total area of the full uh, right angle triangles so what is the area of one triangle that is uh, 1 by 2 times s times height so x times x that means 1 by 2 times x square and what is the value of x a by root 2 so 1 by 2 times a by root 2 if you square it you will get 1 by 2 times <coughs> a square and if you square root 2 you will get 2 that means a square by 4 okay so the total area of the 4 triangle will be a square by 4 times 4 right so a square over 4 times 4 means uh, a square so the total area of the total total area of the uh, four triangles is a square now we need to subtract the total area of the four triangles from the total area of the square so this is the total area of the square and total area of the four triangle is also uh, a square right so <coughs> now if you subtract it you will get the area of the uh, octagon inside that is square so if you do the calculation you get uh, the value of the area of that octagon will be like a square uh, actually 2 a square times uh, 1 plus root 2 so you do the calculation by yourself just square it and take a square is common you will get 2a square into 1 plus root 2 so this is the area of the octagon <coughs> now as we have uh, as we are doing in our previous cases we need to find out the probability and the probability was area of octagon by area of square so this is the area of the square and area of octagon is uh, 2 into root 2 plus 1 uh, a square so from here what you can do uh, you can actually cross a square a square from both sides and you can alternatively write 2 into root 2 plus 1 and we have root 2 plus 1 square so you can write root 2 plus 1 two times so root 2 plus 1 so again we can uh, cross this root 2 plus 1 you will be left with 2 by root 2 plus 1 now since we have uh, to derive the value uh, we have to make the probability in in the form of uh, what is the, what is the form here uh, b root b minus a so we need to find find out the value of the probability like b root b minus a in this form so the root is on the upper side so if you want to uh, remove the root in the denominator what do you do you actually multiply uh, the numerator and denominator by the uh, so by the conjugate opposite term of uh, root 2 plus 1 so what is the opposite term of root 2 plus 1 this is root 2 minus 1 or you can just uh, multiply root 2 minus 1 on both sides so 2 times root 2 minus 1 and here root 2 plus 1 times root 2 minus 1 so why did you actually multiply root 2 minus 1 so that uh, you can use the formula of a plus b times a minus b so what is the value of a plus b times a minus b this is a square minus b square so you can consider a as root 2 and b as 2 1 so in that case let's write in that side that is 
root 2 plus 1 root 2 minus 1 will be root 2 square minus 1 square so root 2 square is root 2 square minus 1 square so this is uh, this is like uh, 2 minus 1 so 2 minus 1 means 1 so in the numerator uh, sorry in the denominator we have 1 okay and on the upper side or the numerator we have 2 into root 2 minus 1 if you just uh, multiply it that uh, then you will get 2 root 2 minus 2 actually you have got uh, the same thing like uh, b root b minus b from here you can easily guess the value of b is uh, 2 that means 2 root 2 b root b and the value of a is also 2 so the value of b is also 2 and value of a is also 2 so what was asked in the question find out the value of a plus b so the value of a plus b this will be equals to 2 plus 2 that is 4 so our answer of this question is 4 so i guess you got the solution so thank you very much for your patience uh, keep practicing and practice makes men perfect okay so thank you very much assalamu alaikum warahmatullah